Okay, so I'm a bit sick, so excuse my voice. Um, back to old projects, the heat gun. I might need it in the future, and I currently don't remember why, but <laughs> there was a reason that I started this again. Um, so yeah, last time I replaced the 1 ohm resistor back here, and yeah, no worky. So what I did now was uh, I used my trusty measurement instrument here uh, to check if it would even pull any current at all because the 1 ohm resistor acted as a fuse kind of. <clears throat> so I decided to see does it even pull any current and it does not. Like at least not enough to be displayed on the thing. Um, I looked up stuff on the internet and I found a schematic for it. Um, yeah, so it's this stuff. I said this was for um, driving the, the thingy, the, the heater, which is wrong. What's actually used to drive the heater is this um, triac with, I think, this blue thing is a part, this and maybe one of these resistors. At least it's just very local here. Um, what is driving? The heater. This thing here is a switch mode power supply. <laughs> and it's not, not isolated, so you see no uh, opto isolator feedback or anything. It's just a switch mode power supply, one of the simplest ones. And this is providing the voltage for the um, LM317 I think it is. <clears throat> so then the LM317 is controlled by the pot and then you have your uh, the voltage for a motor and you also have the voltage for uh, the display. <clears throat> okay so yeah the bang was most probably the resistor and it seems that whatever was pulling so much current at the time uh, well doesn't pull any current now anymore because reasons maybe it was just a one of those two stuck on or something actually I don't know <laughs> what I will do though is I'm going to unsolder these check them with the resistor uh, transistor tester here is it Actually, a transistor tester. I don't know. Well, component tester. I'm going to use that to test these and see if they still work or if you just test like a diode or something <coughs> or open circuit. Um, and if they are broken, I will replace them. But before I unsolder them, I'm gonna check for continuity from the plug uh, to various pieces of the equipment to see if it isn't something else that has failed too. So let me quickly explain the switch mode power supply. So what we have here, we have back here, can you see this? Yeah, there's four diodes. Um, that's the rectifier for the switch mode power supply. You have two of these are, two of these caps are creating a voltage divider. Um, so yeah, the, the switch mode power supply basically runs at half the mains voltage, uh, rectified mains voltage. <clears throat> then you have these two uh, transistors switching the coil in here. There's a feedback coil in there, which does whatever it does. Um, and then you have the output, which is... I don't know anymore. Well, there, there are two more uh, caps. I don't know if they're buffering the output voltage to here, but I think that's those two, actually. Um, so those are probably st the other two caps are somewhere else in the circuit. <coughs> but yeah, that's basically it. You have a switch mode uh, power supply back here, which is well starting itself up by some very strange things. I, seriously, I hate it when something doesn't really make sense in this. Uh, using quirks of the components to start itself up and start oscillating. But yeah, that's basically what this is. Um, so I'm gonna check continuity and then I'm gonna unsolder these and check if they work. 
And if they don't work, I'm gonna have to order some new ones because, yeah, guess what? I do not have these special transistors in storage. I do have some in the same package, uh, but I don't think they're suitable for this cost because I think these are 180 volts and these are like 700. <coughs> uh, so I cannot use these for uh, this application. So yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna test this. Um, I don't know if I will get to unsoldering these today because I'm a lazy bum and it's hot again and yeah, I'm not that healthy at the moment as you may might hear from my voice. Um, so I might just upload this video as a single part and yeah, the rest of it will be uh, a thing of the future. <laughs> whenever I get to it so yeah I'm gonna well I'm gonna do continuity now and the unsoldering maybe next time okay so I measured it and they're still getting um, well power or a connection to the transistors so I cannot measure these in circuit so I guess it's most likely that these failed because these caps failing doesn't make sense or these or anything else if another resistor would have blown you would see it um, so yeah I just guess it's either both or one of these two but I'm I mean if I'm going through the effort of taking these out I'm gonna replace both of them yeah that's it for today I guess um, because I'm tired yeah so maybe I can fix it the one ohm resistor was at least the start <laughs> um, so yeah let's hope that it works after we replace these because if it's the transformer yeah <laughs> I'm dead basically because I cannot fix the transformer that would suck balls if it was the transformer but well, it could be. <laughs> it could be that the transformer failed, which let these two short out, and then this thing, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we will see. <clears throat> well, actually, the motor was still running. It was fluctuating in speed a bit, so like going down a bit, and then back up. And then there was a pop, and that was it. <clears throat> so, yeah, I guess the transformer still works fine. Um, because that would would have smelled if that one would have been cooked so yeah I guess it's these two that got way too hot uh, above their rating I mean these two probably also got that hot but yeah they're caps that they, they probably can take it one time <clears throat> but yeah these things probably either melted inside which well that would nah that's too hot but something happened inside so they broke um, yeah by measuring them, something strange came up. You got like mag mag ohms of resistance between the legs, so I guess there's something fishy going on. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna look up the schematic to see if uh, if the mag ohms comes from some parallel resistors, but I doubt it, kinda, because it doesn't make sense to put a mag ohm or five mag ohm resistor uh, over a transistor. Maybe it does make sense because it's a strange circuit. But yeah, I'm gonna maybe tell you this when I get to this. Okay. Yeah. Bye.